Hey everyone, it's Cece. Welcome to today's video. We are doing some Guild Wars. So looking at them, it's all pretty much like half teams or one man monsters. So that's the kind of Guild War we're gonna do today. But I'm gonna try to pick some that you see like common defenses of and kind of go from there and do it that way. So for example, on the top, we have Kamun Odin Bastet. You cannot tell me that you have not seen this defense like everywhere, right? Like Siege, sometimes it's a full tower stacked of it and you're like, oh my gosh, only so many counters. I know, I agree. <laughs> so for the top one, I'm gonna use one of the teams that I will typically use when I see an Odin comp. And one of those units that I like to use in there is Camila. So I can't find many other uses for her apart from just being like a tank against a wind unit. That's the only uses I can really find for Camila. So this is perfect since this comp has come out, I've been able to actually use her more. I'm also gonna bring in Tazarian to go against the shield from Kamun essentially. And for my last unit, we're gonna bring in... So we can either do, like depending on who you have, you can either do Chasun or uh, Triana. So in this case, I think I'm gonna bring her in um, just to kind of keep the heals up on Camila. Although Camila should be able to tank everything coming in from Odin anyways. And the bottom team is just whatever, it's Sierra. I'll use my full fire team, but we'll go with that. So anytime that I do see an Odin, I do like to bring in some type of a tank, usually like a water tank or like even a light tank. Like sometimes I'll bring in like light golem, for example, in there. Because when you're in siege, I mean, you can't have too many, right? So first things first, we're going to focus on Kuhn and getting him out of the way. And then next we'll... Re oh, I was thought he resisted <laughs> the oblivion and I was going to be like, what? resisted what? so we'll pick on uh Kamun first and then we're gonna go for odin and bastet will of course be last like look at those pilot procs did <laughs> did you see that come on and i think it's probably better i brought i mean i guess it wouldn't have mattered like triana would also have worked here um because then we wouldn't have had to worry about like the debuffs from bastet but <laughs> That's okay. Either team essentially works, right? Uh, may as well do that so we can get the attack up. And I'm not even sure how I have my Tazarian ruined right now, to be honest. I think he's on like, he for sure has an HP rune. I think he's got like a speed rune. He might have an attack rune as well, potentially. And I thought that'd be enough to kill him, almost. So next we'll pick on Odin. Oh! I thought Camila was gonna die there. I just held my breath. And this is why. Maybe Triada would have been a better choice here. <laughs> like, either works. I feel like Triada would have been better here anyway, but I'm pretty sure I recently stole a rune from her, so. Okay, we're still good. And now we'll auto. <laughs> oh my god, I thought Camila was gonna die there. That. Yeah. <laughs> So like I would say if you do have a Camilla and you do see Odin, then one of your main like counters can be Tazarian, Triana, and Camilla in there. That's funny though, that yeah. And then we'll just be able to auto to the second team. But if you guys have a counter for this team, comment it below, let other people know and see what you use. Cause I feel like that's a defense that I have seen so much of lately, especially in Siege. So yeah, it's one of those. Okay, come on guys, let's, let's kill this Bastet. Come on, Camille, you got this. That low amount of damage. Again, she is just a tank for me. It's gonna be a long fight, I feel like now. Just so drawn out. <laughs> there you go, come on. You got this, like one, one more hit. Yeah, there it is. And then, I mean, we could also just auto this as well, right? But I'll make it go faster so we won't, so that nobody like derps and uses the wrong skills. And GG dead. <laughs> okay, perfect. So first battle is done. All right, for the second battle top team, I'm just gonna Tazarian Perna against the Kamun. And then the bottom team is one that you'll probably also see a lot. Anytime I do see a combo with like Jean and a Ladril, typically I'm gonna dozer it. 
Um, I think I've mentioned it before, it is one of my like preferred teams to use against something like that. Um, Dozer is always going to be one of those teams that I think will be a favorite, <laughs> I would say. So same thing if you have a comp against like a Gina Ladrill, comment it below. Maybe it's different. Maybe you don't Dozer it. There's other ways to do things like that. If I had a Katarina built, for example, then maybe that's something I do, right? So let's go ahead and shield up. Chorus against Jean. So that's the only thing. If you see a Jean, obviously you're going to want to try to bring... Um, let's try decrease the attack bar of Jean. Um, you're going to want to bring some kind of immunity, right? And maybe Sleep Theo. Probably not. All right, and let's see if we can kill Eladril. Done. Nice. Beauty. So that's the first one, obviously, we want to get rid of um, just because of the... Revive, right? And we'll bring Dozer again. Maybe we can stun Theo. Nice. Of course, Jean's gonna go ahead and do her thing, right? And let's go against Jean. Resisted, why am I not surprised? Theo's gonna violent proc again, why am I not surprised, right? Theo always violent proc. And sometimes more than once, and then he just ruins everything for everybody. And we'll slowly pick on Theo, but we're gonna try to, nice, get the stun on Jean. Back to Theo. One of these times we'll sleep. Although I'm pretty sure my accuracy on Wusa is like zero, so I mean. <laughs> it's not what we focus on, right? Stats for Wusa that we're focusing on is usually speed, right? Um. Might as well pop Theo. And then, okay, yeah, total, totally violent props, right? Ooh, um... Different things I want to do. I think we'll... Ooh, nice, we got a violent proc, which is what I was hoping for. Because what I was thinking of doing was doing it on herself and then bringing up the buff, um, but the violent proc helped. Because I just wanted to get Lusa's uh, shield back up for Doser. Nice, and as planned. So I wanted to keep Theo's HP low so that when she does do the, um, the, what is it? Invincibility, <laughs> couldn't think of the word. So when she did that, that she'd focus in on Theo and keep herself vulnerable so that we can power punch her and kill her. Okay, nice, GG, done. Okay, second battle is finished. All right, so we just need one more and we're gonna go ahead and find a plus one. All right, and our last guild battle for today, it is a comp that I have seen a lot in Siege, maybe you have as well, with Susano, Garo, and Orion. And the team that I always bring against them is the Water Twins and Triana, and it works every time. If you have your own teams, comment them below. Um, this is one that, like I said, I've seen it a few times, maybe you have too. Bottom team, I'm not gonna worry about, that's whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's really the top team though, right? So usually, that's what happens. So Ryan's gonna go, usually defense breaks. One of the twins, Sasano tries to kill it and then Triana steps in. So the person that we're gonna focus on getting rid of first is gonna be Sasano. And we should be able to kill him right away with the twins. Second thing is we're gonna remove harmful effects off of twins as well. And then Garo's most likely gonna pick on your Triana and then you pick on Garo. So spirit focus and then third skill and my twins are not room for pvp at all but every time i've used this team it's worked so if this is one of those siege defenses you're unsure of try it let me know if you do try it let me know if you like it if you have other types of deep offenses against them comment them and let people know but for me it's always the uh, water twins and triana which i actually need to build another triana because there's so many comps i feel like she's really good <laughs> and yeah second battle is done so uh, nice and quick, but hopefully that kind of you get to get an idea of some offenses that you can use against popular defenses you see. So hopefully um, the Guild Wars that I did today kind of gives you an idea of some offenses you can use against some popular defenses if you see them. If you try them out, comment down below. Let me know if you have other suggestions for people. Comment those as well. I mean, you can't have enough like offense teams, right? <laughs> so hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll work on bringing more PvP content for you guys. And that's it for today's video. So bye for now. Next level.